Research studies in the heterologous gene expression in a living organism are not new and have been ongoing for several years. In most of life science research, molecular cloning is needed to produce recombinant DNA. The recombinant DNA that is constructed is then delivered or transformed into host cells for expression. The requirement to clone multiple transgenes into one vector has led to the advancement of cloning strategies in recent years, which saw the invention of recombinational cloning technologies, such as the gateway cloning system. Gateway cloning technology is invented by Invitrogen. It is a molecular biology technique that is enabled to transfer gene fragments between plasmids based on recombination between gateway ATT sites. The gateway reaction is facilitated by two enzymes called LR clonase and BP clonase. This cloning method is widely used by life sciences research community. The gateway cloning technology is based on the site-specific recombination system used by phage lambda to integrate its DNA in the E. coli chromosome. Both organisms have specific recombination sites called ATTP in phage lambda site and ATTB in E. coli. As you can see in this picture, the integration process is catalyzed by two enzymes, the phage lambda encoded protein integrase and the E. coli protein integration host factor. Upon integration, the recombination between ATTB and ATTP sites generate ATTL and ATTR sites that flank the integrated phage lambda DNA. The process is reversible and the excision is again catalyzed the phage lambda encoded protein integrase and the E. coli protein integration host factor in combination with the excisionase. The ATTL and ATTR sites surrounding the inserted phage DNA recombine site specifically during the excision event to reform the ATTP site in phage lambda and the ATTB site in the E. coli chromosome. The gateway technology is a universal cloning method based on the site-specific recombination properties of bacteriophage lambda. The gateway technology provides a rapid and highly efficient way to move DNA sequences into multiple vector systems for functional analysis and protein expression. The gateway reactions are in vitro versions of the integration and excision reactions. The wild-type lambda-at recombination sites have been modified to improve the efficiency and specificity of the gateway BP and LR recombination reactions. To make the reactions directional, two slightly different and specific sites were developed, AT1 and AT2 for each recombination site. These sites react very specifically with each other. For instance in the BP reaction ATTB1 only reacts with ATTP1 resulting in ATTL1 and ATTR1, and ATTB2 only with ATTP2 giving ATTL2 and ATTR2. Gateway cloning has several advantages. For example, it provides specific recombination and correct orientation. It also has a low percentage of false positives. There is no need for restriction digestion and ligation. Once you have checked the sequence of the entry clone, you do not need to re-sequence the expression clone. The final goal of the gateway reactions is to make an expression clone. To clone gene using gateway technology, you have to follow two main steps. Firstly you have to generate an entry clone. In the second step, you have to generate the desired expression clone by performing an LR recombination reaction between the entry clone and a gateway destination vector. There are different ways of obtaining an entry clones. An entry clone can be generated either through BP reaction, topo cloning, or by using restriction enzyme-based cloning. Detail explanation of how to generate entry clone for gateway recombination will be brought to you by another tutorial video. If you are using PCR product which is generated with primers containing sequence specific to gene of interest and ATTB site, you have to perform BP reaction in order to generate entry clone which will subsequently used in the LR reaction. This is an example indicating how to generate promoter entry clone which will be used in multiple fragment recombination together with another entry clone. On this slide, I am showing you general steps for creating an entry clone for gene of interest. If you have an entry clone for the promoter and for the gene of interest, which is inserted in compatible vectors you can perform LR reaction to move the entry clones into the destination vector. Once the entry clones are moved to the destination vector, the expression clone needs to be verified. Colony PCR can be used to screen the recombinant plasmid. 
Transferring your gene from a gateway entry clone to a destination vector is an easy one-hour reaction. If you are a beginner, do not worry I will come to you with a detailed description of each step in my future video. Please do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, so that you will receive a notification when new videos will be ready.